All right, guys, thanks for jumping in. I just stumbled upon this. Uh, I'm hearing them talk, or was watching them talk on HTAC 7, which is an encrypted radio. We're in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, where there's a massive law enforcement presence out here at the Hennepin Technical School. We've got police agencies from Brooklyn Park, Maple Grove, Corcoran, that's Hennepin County K-9, so Hennepin County Sheriff's Department, uh, Plymouth PD is out here as well. Again, this is all completely hush-hush. Um, we've got uh, fire department down here on standby. They have the school locked off. Uh, no, one, no one in or out. Here's another Hennepin County squad coming in. We have no official reports yet on anything, but tons of law enforcement is out here from all over the area. They are not, uh, they're not telling anyone what is going on. Students have come up that are supposed to be coming to school and they are not, uh, they're not telling the kids anything. They have long guns out, tactical helmets on. Fire was requested out here for a low priority emergency event is all I heard. And I seen them talking a lot on the encrypted channels Um, I did attempt to make a phone call to Brooklyn Park PD. They are not, uh, they're not telling anyone that what is going on, but there is a multiple, multiple law enforcement units out here. Uh, Brooklyn Park PD isn't uh, is not talking at all about anything, but they do have tactical gear, long guns, and canines out here. Uh, multiple city agencies are out here. There's officers walking with a tactical helmet and long guns out towards the back side of the building as well. See if I can get some different angles out here too. I did talk to some reserve officers. I, sorry guys, I'm right next to the roadway. Um, they, uh, they didn't have anything that they could say. They, they actually didn't know a whole lot. They were just told to keep everyone out of the, the property. So Osseo police are out here as well. Looks like Champlin. That's a Champlin unit right there.
So there are some squads that are leaving the area. I do still have the whole area blocked off and they're not letting anyone in or out. So again, we're at Hennepin Technical College. This is where they do the law enforcement training as well at this location. So they do have law enforcement um, where you can take your law enforcement here as well. So. So we don't we don't know what kind of situation is happening. They are refusing. Well, they're they're not refusing. They're just not the ones the, the reserve officers I can talk to. Um, they they said that they don't know a whole lot. All they were told is to come out and lock down the area and not let uh, students in to the campus. There are some students that are outside. Uh, but as far as it looks, um, they still have the building on lockdown. I am attempting to make contact with people that are in the school. Stand by, guys. I'm sorry I'm being quiet. I'm trying to get information. So we, we have confirmed that there is a lockdown. Uh, the Brook This is a Brooklyn Park campus only uh, message from Hennepin Technical College. A lockdown is in effect for Brooklyn Park campus. Uh, proceed to secure location on the interior of the building, away from windows, and await further instructions. So that is the, the message that was sent out to the students. Get a couple more officers there. Just have long guns. So the school is in a lock lockdown situation right now. 
we have confirmed that. So it appears that they are in, in the process of clearing the school for an unknown threat at this time. So we are confirming that there is, Hennepin Tech is in a lockdown for an unknown threat. Uh, shelter in place has been sent to the students. Okay, so it appears that the person that was possibly in school is not in school today. So I don't have anyone inside this building. If you guys know anyone that's in the school, um, please, uh, you know, if you have any information, that would be great. This is Hennepin Technical College. We're in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. They are on a lockdown. The fire department is on a standby. Multiple law enforcement officers are on scene. Uh, canines, multiple dogs are out here. Uh, officers from Osseo, Champlin, Maple Grove, Brooklyn Park, Brooklyn Center, Hennepin County Sheriff's Department, Corcoran PD uh, are all out here as well assisting with this incident. They, uh, they do have the entrance blocked off down here with reserve officers and the fire department. Uh, the fire department is on standby. So the Hennepin Tech is on lockdown right now. The message was sent out to the students. We don't know um, if this is a credible threat or not. Um, if you recall, there's been multiple um, swatting calls um, to schools over the over the uh, last few months. And I'm still trying to get further. But as, uh, as of 1.02 p.m. today, the message from Hennepin County, or Hennepin Technical College here in Brooklyn Park, uh, they stated a lockdown is in effect for the Brooklyn Park campus. Proceed to a secure location on the interior of the building away from windows. Await further instruction. That was sent out at approximately 1.03 a.m. Or, I'm sorry, p.m. 103 p.m. School is in session. Looks like a possible law enforcement student. This is where they do law enforcement training. Just received information that there is a possible, possibly no longer a threat to Hennepin County Tech or Hennepin Tech. Cleared the main channel for emergency traffic. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Yes, after this uh, renders, you can also go back into the live chat to see everything. 
I will be following up uh, with Brooklyn Park PD uh, after this to get you guys an update. But again, uh, a lot of this is um, Jack, uh, do you know what channel that was aired on? If you can share that. If you can't share that, that's fine. Thanks everyone for tuning in and being here. I, uh, I so happen to be working up here in Brooklyn Park um, and seeing HTAC 7, which is an encrypted channel, uh, light up a bunch, which is unusual uh, because it is an encrypted channel. We can't hear what's going on with a regular scanner. Uh, but then I heard them page fire out here for a low priority fire event. They still, uh, they still have the entrance to the school blocked off with reserve officers or community service officers and uh, fire department. So that is the entrance to the school. Still don't have a lot. All we know is the lockdown. Um, they are in a lockdown. We don't know what the reason for the lockdown is. Good as it's gonna get. Yeah. Have you heard? Lockdown. Huh? This for your personal video or what? Oh no, I'm I'm live right now. Oh. Yeah. I can mute it if you wanna. If you can tell me anything. Or... Oh, I mean I don't know. I just I got here and it was like this. Oh, they wouldn't let you. No, they won't let me. Well, I didn't try to go in. I talked to that dude. He said they. He said it's locked. So I took the it. Yeah. Oh, well, they're stopping everyone down. I got word that they they're turning the right now, but they still have everything locked down. So. Do you no, no, no. I was just I was working in the area and I do journalism uh, on my own. And it's, it's all encrypted, hence the county. So I seen I can see it light up yeah. on the scanner, but you can't hear it. So HTAC seven got lighting up, and then it takes the fire. The fire's not encrypted for a low priority fire event here at the school. So, uh, I'll swing over here and I got here. Four from TV. So where's your music going? Is that your car down there? No, I'm I'm parked down the road down there. Oh, okay. No, I, and so I seen like all police departments from all over. So I'm like, huh? And they got long guns, canines, you know. So it's yeah. Apparently there's something about a robbery, but like I don't know. I don't. Think, I don't think it happened here. I think they just, just came to get the dude. Oh, uh, or it could have rained, right? And yeah. The school well, stuff i know when i when i went to i decided fire right and yeah. it was out of this school but it was at the hopkins location at the time yeah. so you had to come here to do all this stuff and then basically everything still yeah. 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 yeah i was gonna say they just have eaten very now yeah yeah now i think it's all there but yeah which hopkins really was <laughs> when i went there it's kind of like a warehouse that was falling down so oh, really yeah it was it was in rough shape <laughs> But I seen them doing out the like the mock traffic stop here and stuff too. I'm like, oh that's kinda cool. They got the moon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but 
haven't seen like this. This is different. And having them block out the entrance down here. Like, I don't know if this is in school or there's people in the building. Yeah. I like most people are in the building. Okay. It's uh, to my ears are so back in the cold. You can see if maybe they let you sit in the car down there. Oh, okay. I said, no, I'm going to go home. That's what most people's consensus are. Yeah, I'm going to just take the day. Yeah. And the coldest day of the entire week, right? Like, uh, yesterday was gorgeous. Yeah, yesterday I wouldn't have been complaining. Tomorrow's supposed to be better. Yeah. I, t I took the day off of work. I'm like, screw it. I'm going to enjoy the weather. Right. I just wish I could see it. Yeah, I, I don't smoke, otherwise I'd be the one. I was gonna have to wait four hours, so I'm gonna even sit her down. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> right. Yeah, Brooklyn Park PD is pretty good. I'll just go talk to to them. They're they're usually pretty good about getting information out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious. Yeah, I mean. I mean, over the last few months, we've gotten all the swatting calls to all the high schools and stuff around the state. The swatting, like, when they say that there's a threat and there's not? Yep. Yeah. And it's happening all over the state. Like, really? Oh, yeah. They're like, well, we traced the call, and we determined it's a non-credible threat. I'm like, well, why aren't we catching these people, right? Yeah, like, all really. the technology we have. I know. We can't figure out where they call them. Apparently not. man well take care sure. all right guys sorry there's not a whole lot more thanks for tuning in um, as far as we know the information we have the school is still on on lockdown a lot of kids are coming and go or a lot of students are coming and going and they're being turned away But they still have the entrance blocked off. They're not letting anyone in. Looks like we got Metro Transit Police just uh, showing up too on scene. So now we add Metro Transit K9. How many law enforcement do we have out here? A lot, a lot. We've got multiple agencies. I've seen a couple of them trickle out. We've got Maple Grove, Corcoran, Champlin, uh, Brooklyn Park. I've not seen Brooklyn Center. Um, Sheriff's Department, Plymouth, Maple Grove. I haven't seen State Patrol out here yet. So it looks like they're kind of concentrating a lot. In the back yard. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's a bunch in the back lot over there as well. So we do have, so we do have a student inside the building on here. So if you can, um, you can always email me uh, and send me pictures and I can show, show the stream what what's going on if you guys if you have any information if you are in the school so it looks like they are staging in the back of the lot So they are allowing they are allowing students to come out um, and come down to the main entrance off of Northland Drive and Brooklyn Boulevard, and they are allowing um, people to pick them up at the entrance uh, of the school at that intersection. There is no mainstream media out here that I see at all. In fact, there's nobody out here. Uh, the only, uh, it, it's me covering this, and it's, uh, I, I seen a little bit on Crime Watch Minneapolis, and that's about it. But it looks like they're in that back parking lot that's that's the area where that uh, metro transit k9 went is in that back parking area So we got another uh, Metro Transit K9. CBS is reporting on it now. I don't see anyone out here.
see what CBS has. Uh, there's not much to update, um, so CBS doesn't have much either. Yeah, it looks like they got a stock photo. So, Hennep so this is what CBS is reporting. Hennepin Technical College in Brooklyn Park is on lockdown Tuesday afternoon. WCCO has confirmed students and staff. Okay then. Um, so CCO has confirmed students and staff shelter in place in classrooms on campus located in the 9000 block of Brooklyn Boulevard. Uh, Hennepin Technical College Emergency Alert System sent out a message to students and staff a lockdown is in effect at Brooklyn Park campus. Proceed to, you know, the same thing I've read you. Stay in a locked room away from windows and doors. Um, so they're unclear on what has triggered uh, the lockdown as well. So all we know is there is a lockdown This is Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Check other sources and see what I got. But yes, there's not much to report on out here. Besides, it's a lockdown and uh, they're keeping it very quiet. So they are allowing uh, students to come here to the front entrance and uh, and be picked up. Yeah, if there's any students that are here in the chat that can uh, update from what you guys see in there also if you guys have pictures let a, you know you can email me it's minnesota.news.now at gmail.com i'm sure pamela can post that or any of my mods uh, we've got a metro transit uh, supervisor on scene now uh, so a bus a bus supervisor
I will be able to get more information from Brooklyn Park PD once this is over. Uh, Inspector Foss is their PIO, which is a super great guy. Thank you so much for the coffee. It might be a hot chocolate day. It's not too cold for January, but it is a little chilly out here. I do appreciate the $4. I will definitely go get uh, hot chocolate. But yes, if you're coming to Hennepin Tech, uh, just don't come. Just don't come to school right now. They're not letting anyone in. Uh, it does, they are slowly, people are slowly trickling out. But yes, if you're at the Brooklyn Park campus, don't, don't come. They're not letting anyone in. Some students are being Ubered and dropped off, and now they're stuck in the cold weather. Uh, community service officers are turning people away at the entrance. So there is a Medtronics across the street and there is a parking lot across the street um, that they are telling people to wait in. Other than, other than that, we don't have much of an update besides they're still on a lockdown. Um, I did try to reach out to a, a student that I know that goes here, uh, but they're not, they're not in school. So we still, I'm still checking. So one is in custody, we're getting a report. Uh, Ellen.
Carl, yes, the police do know I'm here. Uh, I did talk to them when I walked up here to find out where the lockdown area is. So students were inside the building, told there was an active shooter, so they were on lockdown. That's that is all I know from my niece inside. Okay, so you do have a niece inside, okay. Um, you know, Carl, I actually, I actually got an email from an officer um, thanking me for what I do. Uh, he wanted to, re they wanted to remain anonymous. I don't know if it was he or she, and said how much they appreciate me coming out to scenes. Um, uh, police are inside the building. Yes, police have been going inside the building as well. Earlier, I talked to another person that was um, on a student that tried to come to school. Uh, they tried to come into the, the building and they were told they can't. And they were told that it was possible a suspect they were trying to take into custody that ran over here. But right now they have uh, it appears a couple different types of perimeters. So they have an initial perimeter um, set up around the school. They've got some law enforcement in that back parking lot. And I'm, I'm just not able to to get to that lot. Um, the way the school is situated, I, I only can really be on this one side uh, of the building, unfortunately. Otherwise, I can't get any other shots. I don't have a drone. And unfortunately, I can't afford a helicopter. So there's that. But if uh, Mainstream were to come out with their helicopter to get overhead, we could get some better shots. But it looks like uh, they're diverting uh, buses right now from the school as well. To reiterate, this is where they do... Um, they do law enforcement training as well at this school. Um, so they do offer law enforcement training here. I have seen them doing um, like mock traffic stops here in the parking lot. So seeing flashing lights over here is not uncommon at all. This is uh, Hennepin Technical College in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. They are in a current lockdown right now. Um, okay, uh, thank you so much. That That is the second confirmation I've heard as well um, that they said that someone from a robbery ran inside the school, which prompted to go into a lockdown. We'll, we'll get confirmation on that as well. So we are getting the m multiple reports of that. It was a person. But yeah, so everything helps. Everyone that's in school or has people that are in the school it, it does help to post in here. That way it keeps the information flowing. Obviously, information is going to change. Um, but now we've gotten at least three different people saying the, the same thing as it was a robbery, uh, robbery suspect that ran into the school.
All right, so we've gotten four four people. So the robbery suspect has possibly been taken into custody, and they are searching for a firearm. So we're getting multiple reports from different individuals stating the same thing. It was a robbery suspect, uh, possibly with a firearm, that ran into the school. So there's a... Uh, OSCOPD, they were in the front of the school earlier. Looks like they're uh, getting ready to clear. Oh, is my... Uh, Capital is my uh, text to speech not to <laughs> didn't do it very well. All right, sorry. Yeah, no, I did a text to speech. It looks like we have New Hope Police. I will change the title. Yes, I do text to speech. I did try to. Um, I will. I will change that. It, it was all the police, pretty much the entire area came here, uh, Capitol. So it does look like they are clearing. Yeah, snow, snow in January. Tomorrow's gonna be super nice um, here in the metro area. There's Plymouth. So I will, uh, probably gonna end the stream. They got everyone leaving right now. So it looks like it, it's over. Uh, we're probably gonna have everyone just slowly leaving. Uh, let me just double check to see if they've lifted everything yet. Let's see if I can confirm. So they are opening up the entrance. They're allowing cars to come in and out. So I think it's safe to call this one. Um, it's over. So I will go to Brooklyn Park PD, uh, talk to uh, Inspector Foss, which is the public informational officer for Brooklyn Park and uh, see what's going on. That was uh, one of the cops I know from Plymouth. So, you know, for all those that say I don't get along. So, yep, it has been cleared. Thank you, Jay. Thank you so much. Yep, we can confirm that it's uh, it's cleared out. So, there's Corcoran. So, I will get the update and official press release. 
Um, thank you so much for tuning in and being here. Jason with Minnesota News Now out.